South African youth, particularly women, have been harshly impacted by COVID-19, and more than half of them lack the digital skills to find work in a post-COVID job world. Gaining vocational skills is important, but young people also need support to become digitally literate and find the motivation for successful job seeking. The automotive sector is a significant contributor to the South African economy and is playing a crucial role in its recovery, while TVET colleges can provide the vocational training needed to access jobs in this sector. The United Nations Development Programme partnered with the Department of Higher Education and Training, Harambi Youth Employment Accelerator, International Youth Foundation, Toyota South Africa Motors, the National Association of Automotive Component and Allied Manufacturers, and the Japan International Cooperation Agency on the project Automotive Training and Reskilling in the Post-COVID Economic Recovery for Vulnerable Youth and Women in South Africa to economically empower vulnerable youth and women. Funded by the Japanese government, this initiative forms part of several UNDP programs aimed at promoting inclusive growth, tackling youth unemployment and advancing gender equality. What excites me in this project is exactly the partnership. To achieve an effective transformative change, it is important to deliver initiatives for the public and private sector and social partners to work as a collective to achieve uh, mutually beneficial outcomes. This project aimed to increase the economic empowerment of vulnerable women and youth through provision of skills relevant to the automotive industry, strengthen the capacity of TVET colleges to align with the post-COVID-19 economy and labour market needs, including flexible and digital learning mechanisms, and strengthen the connection between graduates, TVET colleges and the private sector, particularly with automotive companies. With the right skill, the transformation of TVET colleges and training of trainers, South Africa can mainstream and meaningfully address the triple development challenges of poverty, inequality and joblessness. Your development is key to addressing these challenges, holding their skills and unlocking their untapped talent, not only to promote inclusive growth, but to sustain economic transformation and human transformation in the society. To align with industry needs and ensure relevance in our programmatic offer, we conducted a needs assessment to inform project activities. We discovered that our selected three partner TVET colleges, Coastal KZN TVET College in KwaZulu-Natal, Northlink College in the Western Cape, and Tswane South TVET College in Gauteng, needed modernized workshop equipment, ICT infrastructure for teaching and learning, skills development and support for lecturers to enable them to teach remotely. The single biggest challenge we have in our country in order to address youth unemployment is to grow the college sector faster than the university sector. We are not going to address youth unemployment unless we expand the TVET college sector to be four times bigger than the university sector. What we have realized is that we will not change the face of TVET colleges just by going and throwing money at TVET colleges. So we need to understand the industry need and then build the capacity of the TVET so that they become responsive. In support of this initiative and aligned to Toyota South Africa Motors Youth Empowerment Programs, Toyota South Africa Motors signed an MOU with UNDP, which culminated in the official opening of the Toyota Manufacturing Academy at the Swinton campus of the coastal KZN TVET College. I believe that Toyota Manufacturing Academy, with the joint support of Government of Japan and UNDP, will create a brighter future for many young South Africa. We have the capability, we just need the opportunity. And this academy is going to help provide that opportunity. This support benefited the coastal KZN TVED College broadly and the Toyota Manufacturing Academy specifically, 
through the provision of mechanical, electrical, electronic workshop and ICT equipment to support 24 young people, while Tswane South TVET College received automotive components for training. Our selected TVET colleges received interactive whiteboards, computers, projectors, printers and other peripherals. And we provided digital soft skills training content to support TVET College students' entry into the world of work. Through our partnership with Harambi Youth Employment Accelerator, we sourced over 64 manufacturing operators with an engineering background through the SA Youth Platform and provided them with Mercita accredited technical courses and work readiness interventions. The training also provided candidates with gender equality and social inclusion workshops, stipends and ICT tools like devices and data. The trained candidates were then exposed to the 800 employer members of the Durban Automotive Cluster as part of our aim to strengthen the connection between graduate and TVET colleges with private sector employment opportunities, specifically in the automotive industry. In our new world where both physical and virtual engagements are possible, 24 lecturers were trained in blended teaching and learning techniques to align with the post-COVID economy and labour market needs. We also trained 35 lecturers and staff in new technologies and changing skill requirements in the automotive industry and strategic partnerships with the industry. The project focused on mutually beneficial outcomes solving industry's recruitment needs by training 64 young people as manufacturing operators, while at the same time linking 12,230 youth from TVED colleges to the SA Youth Platform where they can access earning and learning opportunities. Of the TVED College group registered on SA Youth, 694 young people have since been employed. With many good practices and lessons learned, we know there is more work to be done. Strategic multi-stakeholder partnerships with the public and private sectors are key to success. We look forward to strengthening collaborations to bring much needed and sustainable transformation to unlock the potential of young people and break gender norms. I feel ready, I feel hope. I'm really looking forward to learning, growing in the automotive space. And what we really want to underscore in this is the urgent need for all of us as development partners, as government, as the private sector, to go above and beyond the call of duty in ensuring that young females, young women are able to benefit from programs of this nature, particularly in the automotive sector that would be traditionally seen as something that is predominantly male.